Good evening, everyone. Good evening, all. Welcome back to another live Let's Play live and exclusive YouTube. I am your host, Swishbone, and I do apologize. I've got a slight problem with the system here. We'll be in a second. Right, there we are. Now we're back in play, and it appears that my camera has fallen down. That's part of the problem. I couldn't see where my video video was. Now everything seems to be fine. So, good evening, all. Welcome back to the stream live and exclusive to YouTube. As I said before, I'm your host, Swishbone, for the remainder of the evening. For those of you who have been here before watching me battle through the likes of Shin Megami Tensei, Persona and Dongan Ram for many more times, losing my mind, playing through the Crash Bandicoot, Kujoji or Sonic 06 when I tried that for a one-off. Maybe you were here for the weird streams like Doki Doki Literature Club and Song of Memories, or for the really old school streams like Final Fantasy 7 and Forza 4. Either way, a colossal welcome back to all of you returning viewers, and for those of you who have never been here before, this channel, we normally play games blind, live for the first time. We have plenty of jokes and banter in the chat box over in that direction. So whether you're new, whether you're old, get your comments in there, and I'll do what I can to get in contact with all of you. So we're going to pick up where we left off here in Alice Madness Returns, and we are deep in the underwater zone with this amazing-looking dress. I seriously, absolutely adore the design with the way the light shells work well. We've got the different color designs, the fish scales... It definitely eschews that we are in the underground situation. Oh. It's all wrong, apparently. Meanwhile, good evening to Exotale. Just seeing you jump into the stream, into the chat box there. How are you doing? Um, if you had his, they'd be hurting. It's a bottle, it's a bottle fish. I'm not terribly musical, but you seem out of tune. It's not my fault. I can't hear my notes. The pipes are obstructed. I can see that. Why not do something about it? And endanger my vocal cords. You might do it for Everyone me. Everyone here has an excuse for doing nothing. Reminds me of the asylum. Now I'm hearing the, the sound of a snout, and I see you right there. Piggy. Thank you. Um, yeah, indeed, I agree. It's an absolutely gorgeous dress. You're not wrong. And um, very well that you're doing good, Excel. I'm doing fine as well. Tomorrow is my last day in the office, and then I am out for the weekend so I can go to Play Expo in Blackpool. I'm looking forward to that, indeed. Always a good laugh. Yep. Oh, where did you come from, you little sneak thief? Yes, uh, so I'm looking forward to a weekend at Play Expo Blackpool where I'm going to be doing plenty of arcade gaming and all other kinds of gaming in between, so that's always a good laugh. Looking forward to that, it's going to be great fun. Meanwhile, Queen jumping in there also saying, hey, good evening to you, how are you? Things here absolutely fine, so in answer to your question about how's things, how's things for you? Is it exciting or have you got a lot going on at the moment? We are here having to save a... Um, bottle fish by freeing its vocal cords. That's what we're doing here, people. Finding a lot of gold teeth as well, which is a good thing because they are very pricey indeed. I send some mini boss. Much more getting away from her from here at the moment. One down. Take your creepy no face baby and get out of my sight. Ah, health. I'll take that. Thank you. That's good. Right, I can I can shoot you. Yeah. Is that it? We done? Get out. Okay, so that's the first of the musical notes dealt with. Oh, 
considerably more application. I'm sure you'd like to do a decent job. Is anyone else finding that really, really, really annoying? Because <laughs> I'm sure I'm. And I'll definitely let you know how I play Xbox uh, Max Tile. Every time I've been before, it's been great. I was like, loads of classic arcade machines, consoles, computers, everything. And it's going to be an opportunity to just have fun as well. Also, I'll be going to the Blackpool version of Arcade Club at night as well, which is always cool. Right. I don't like the sound. I don't like the, the setup here. The setup looks too blase, shall we say. Yeah, here we go. What have we got this time? Oh, it's the crabs. We have the crabs. The crabs, I'm pretty sure you have to use um, the cannon deflection against. is annoying. Right, one knee down, that's good. That's two knee down, that's even better. It's just you and me now, punk. Oh look, you no longer have your, your cannon. Yeah, that's right. That was quite satisfying actually. I'm quite impressed. Well, good evening, Avian. Just seen you jump into the chat there. How are you doing? It's all well and good, but my range needs a fully functional orchestra. Yes, a bottle fish needs me to clear his pipes for him. That's what we're doing here, by the way, in case you're curious. <laughs> ah, there's one more, and it's the violins this time. It's the string quartet that we need to bring back. So we've had the we've had the cannons and we've had the fish. What have we got this time? We've got Of course, we've got the big one.
no trouble with any game involving involving hand to hand combat. They always summon a lot of all the little idiots to do it for them. They can't fight by themselves. Right, okay. It's just you and me now. Oh, I didn't, I didn't dodge in time. Nice. Yeah, this breaks through defenses, so it's not a bad shout. As long as you can time your attacks right, that's the problem. Ah, oh, God damn it. That's annoying. Yes, I would like to continue. Let's try again. So we start back here, and... Ah, so it's, it's brought us back to breaking this one free. That's annoying. It's okay though, it's all fine. Yes, ah, system issues are never fun, eh, Avi? And you're trying to get on with things, and then guess what? No, you can't. That's all well and good, but my range needs a fully functional orchestra. Right, okay. One down. Okay, we're going to try this again, are we? Ah, so much for your big mouth, mate. Ah, that was okay. Second time, second time of asking. There's something wrong. That's why I can't find the time of the rain. It's surely not lost. Perhaps mislaid. I suppose I'll have to help you carry the tune. Better be light. Oh what? I'm ready for war. What have I got to do? Oh what? Hang on, right, which are the bullets? Uh, which are the buttons there? Unless, is it directional keys? Well, that's suggesting it's the... I'm not sure on the button presses for this. That's what's really annoying. And there's no real f feedback on which ones are which. 
Right, so it's not that number. So that tells me it's the directions. So I think we got. Oh, it was too soon. The timing's really weird. See, I, I, I pressed that right in the middle of the, the where the where the where the arrow was, but it didn't seem to count. The timing is very very strange. Or at least it feels it to me. It doesn't feel natural at all. <laughs> Get ready to watch this a thousand times, people. Got close to that time. <sighs> it's telling me I can skip it, but I don't want to. It's weird, it doesn't seem to be pressing forward for the usual one. We've got one. Nope, too soon. Oh, they have to do them both? You can't miss, wow. I don't know why that one didn't count. The audience will be grateful for your efforts. I doubt it. I agree, Alice. Well, people, we got through it. Apparently, you'd appreciate you'd appreciate the end of that, according to, according to them. I disagree. Still, we got a bottle out of it, at least. That's all okay. Yes, you said that the DDR slash USA minigames only work if it's in, like, Yakuza or GTA. Um, even then, they're a bit flawed, I must admit. And um, as for the LA Noir one, Queen, I've actually seen footage of that. Isn't it like um, a mission where you have to cross a tar pit? And if you don't get the navigation right, Cole just go. He just goes. That's the forefront of my thinking, and falls into the and falls into the into the quagmire. I'm sure I've seen the clip somewhere of that before. Not burned beyond recognition, as I recall. It was the smoke, you see. One day you'll be joining them in the Oxford Family Vault, I imagine. The Oxford Family Vault. Hmm. Oh, the cat wants a word. Two down, one to go. Oysters are the presumptive stars of the show, if you can wake them. Ah, a place where we can heal. Let's get our healing back. And that's why is everyone singing, Avian? Because I suppose this is the Alice Madness Returns version of um, the world from The Little Mermaid. It's the closest I've got. Doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> You're dreading the oysters, are you, Queen? Oh, we've got a bed.
Oh, we're being attacked already. Oh, that didn't count as hitting him, that's annoying. Yeah, they, they, they can't fight me on the road. They have to fight me as a pack. They're not good enough to fight me on the, on the road. Where did you come from, you fur one? Now you're on your own, your ass is mine. Get fucking back here. Still, that was enough to get them on. <laughs> Interrupted my dreams. Oh well, off to the show, I suppose. What in the f? Uh? What? Wait, what? I suppose that could be my revenge, Axel, for that um, terrible rendition of. Um from uh, the song from um, Kingdom Hearts. Yes, I've seen the clip. No, I've never recovered. And they say, when you think about the lyrics of some of the songs from that movie, they actually are quite dodgy. Down where it's wet, where it's better, down where it's wetter. Yeah, um, about that movie. What exactly are you promoting with children here? And I agree, Avian. I think it's certainly testing my sanity at the moment. Although, to be fair, there's no bigger sanity test than trying to beat Crush Bandicoot. Right, so where is it I need to go then? A door opened and I can't see where it is. It's got to be around here somewhere. There's got to be a way. It would be a rather lame level if there's nowhere to go. <laughs> Hang on a second. Can I get onto these platforms? Yes, I can. Knew there was something I was missing. So now we're into the next um, realm of the oysters.
Your sonnet is just as cold vein. <laughs> um, Avian, um, what you're talking about with regards to the VHS cover of um, The Little Mermaid is because one of the uh, background decorations happens to look like a phallus. But Disney have long been accused of um, promoting sexual promiscuity with the um, with the younger fraternity. There was a belief for many years that um, the song "The Whole New World" from Aladdin uh, did that. It's just proof that if you look for something hard enough, you'll find it. I had a feeling that was going to happen there. But luckily we start back here, so it's not too bad. As, as you say, Exitale, you know, the poor artist getting the, getting the shaft for that. Hmm, okay. I think I'm missing something here. There's no other way across to that platform there. Yeah. It's just going to be a tight jump, I think, unfortunately. <laughs> Yay, we made it. <laughs> yep, can't land on those ones. Oh, we start all the way back here. Damn it. That's annoying. Oh, what the hell? I don't know if you noticed that weird floating glitch that I did then, which was completely unintentional, by the way. So, Aladdin, Aladdin was awesome. Mainly because, like, uh, Robin Williams just didn't care about the script, did he? They gave Robin Williams a script and he went, Nah, don't think I will. Not gonna read that. Yep, I thought I saw a key here. And in we go. And we've come out on the other side. So what's all the way over here? Ah, oh, it's a memory. Odd indeed. Unusual, perhaps. Even extraordinary. But nearly nothing is unique, Alice. Yours was not the first brick home to be destroyed by fire. Brick home, eh? So it wasn't down to wood. And um, they did actually screw Robin over, actually. Um, you're not wrong there, Queen, because the contract said they couldn't reproduce things without his thing, and then they replaced him. It was a strange one. Let's keep going as we carry on under this mysterious ocean. Right, I've got over a thousand coins. So the question is, yeah, I've got over a thousand teeth. So I'm going to upgrade the hobby horse. And then I can either, oh, well, I can't knock out enough for the Vorpal Blade. So I'll upgrade the pepper grinder. Oh wow! Check out this combo! Yeah, Alice has gone full Soul Calibur mode now.
Yeah. Ah, interesting, Queen. So, um, Dan Castellato was the second genie. We still need the star. The star. The star. Yeah, Dan Castellato, a.k.a. Well, you said Homer Simpson, but also Earthworm Jim. Yes. Earthworm Jim. Groovy. <laughs> yeah, should we have a little lie down? Yeah, let's have a little lie down, people. Yes, it was indeed a fantastic wombo combo because we want to cause as much damage as possible. Oh, we've got what appears to be a puzzle here. The Dance of Death. Oh, no. I know what we've got to do. Move those blocks to create the slide. Help me, Alice. This poster for the show, it's ruined. If I can't put it back together, Carpenter will grind my pearls. Yep. So essentially, this is where we've got to get all the all the blocks together and move them across. Well, this won't be annoying. I oh, want the ah collect the four blocks to start the challenge. Slide. Oh, it's a slide puzzle. Oh. Oh. Very bad flashbacks to the original Resident Evil 4 now. And you only got five... Oh, so even worse, we've got limited moves too. The proper order of things is often a mystery to me. You too. Well, we're certainly going about a difficult way tonight, aren't we, people? Meanwhile, good evening! Um, Aris the Jads, I've seen you jump in there. How are you doing? Ah, oh, well, at least we don't have to slide them around this way. Right, well, I need to deal with this first, so... Ah, right, so I've got to collect the four pieces before I can even start this going. So let's go start hunting the pieces, shall we? Oh... Poor Fisher out of the way. This one's irritating, so you have to fight from a distance. Come on then. Come on, you coward. doesn't work. Get down. Stay down. Dickhead. Stay down. Ah, no worries, Queen. You get yourself back in. Hopefully it's not so bad for the rest of the shift for you. And <laughs> the game... Don't worry, I'll help you. Well, we'll see about that one, Exeter. We've got to start the puzzle yet first. Right, anything Quick, else out here? The show begins. Um, I don't think I'm on a time limit, and if I am, the time limit can go to hell. 
I'm not rushing. Especially when I spy loot. I want the teeth. Yes, and Alice that goes around pulling out people's teeth is not what you'd normally associate with Alice in Wonderland. Say like Alice from SMT, maybe, but not Alice from Wonderland. That's not for sure. Right, so we've got to go this way by the looks of it. Ah, oh, that's useful. Ah. I was going to land on that, but not this time. That's annoying. That is very annoying. Let's try that again. Go. Quickly, he could be here any minute. Ah, I see you up there, you. Thought you could hide from me? I don't think so. Nice. Even more teeth. Ah, there's another way up there. So I need to wait for that thing. Oh, it was right on the ragged edge then. Keep troubles and torments at a distance where they may be easily forgotten. This guy seems to like aversion therapy, doesn't he? He's always talking about ignoring your problems. Not the best strategy, not the worst either. I can understand people finding familiarity in not having a problem in the mind, but if you just ignore a problem, it's going to fester. And I often find that's not the strongest way to succeed. Oh. I'm out of coffee. Boo. Okay, so where are the others? There's nothing up here. Ah, but there is a keyhole here. Ah, there it is. Help me put the poster back together. Oh, right. Okay. So. Yeah, we have 23 moves. Let us resume our place. Before our adoring fans at the theatre. Wait, 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 what? Did, did, did that just happen? What? Um. Okay. Thank you, game. Thank you. Let's move on. Oh, well, that's inconvenient. My gosh, you're not an impresario. You're a killer. The mastermind of a criminal enterprise. 
This world is not so either or, Alice. And I've done your bidding. You did a few errands, got your hands dirty. Big deal. The show distraculates the crowd. Shame you'll miss it. You need to deal with these sailors. It's your time. Time? Time? The time has come to talk of ships and, uh, and, and vegetables and royalty and, uh, and whether pigs have wings and so on. Enough of that, walrus. You start willing about there being too much sand on the beach, I'll have your blubber for breakfast. Shame on you, Carpenter. You made a promise. I had no choice. One can't always do as one would like. I'd have thought you'd know that by now. I think this game should be subtitled Everyone's a Dick to Alice. And now we're being attacked by a drowned sailor. Oh, it's these guys. I remember them. Yeah, you have to like shoot them like that and then hit them. I thought, I thought I was in um, auto aim mode. Oh god, these, these bombs are, are putting up a massive fight. There we are. hear the pigs now, but now's not the time to deal with it. Come on. Come on. Coward. Yes. The coward has been taken out. Speaking of out, how about a snout? Hey, thank you very much. So what awaits back here then? In the den of the ship's graveyard. Oh, teeth and another member. Your rabbit too. I'm sure Diamond's a confidant. Always about, wasn't she? Yes. The game continues further in as we go deeper into the bowels of Wonderland. We are far below the ocean. It would it wouldn't go it wouldn't go quiet though. If it's not going to go quietly, I'm going to have to just do what I can to smash it to pieces. Okay, so what have we got back here then? I thought that might have been dangerous because of the black sludge. Right, I'm guessing there's going to be more sailors to deal with. Oh, what a surprise. I was bang on the money.
I'll give you something to sneeze at. Okay then, punk. Suck on my vortal blade. True souls are trapped. You must release them. Do they want to be at peace? They do not know their own minds. What's true of the living is often true of the dead. He's not wrong. An undersea graveyard is an interesting idea for a game. It must be sad. And yeah, that would be actually be amazing, I can tell. That'd be so cool, wouldn't it? I mean, all the light up and everything else. Because it's just such a nice design. I say I'm useless at any kind of any kind of crafting, so I won't have a clue how to do that. But it's something I would love to do because it's just such an awesome design. I would seriously love that dress. I actually would love it. It'd be a brilliant costume. Right. Okay. I'm guessing we gotta go through here and find more souls. I suppose they are poor, unfortunate souls. Pick a path, any path, I'm guessing? Is that the way this works? <laughs> so you, you, you say you're crap at sewing, Axel. Trust me, you've not seen the attempts I've done to repair my Amy costume and I've been trying to fix the buttons. I have fists of ham and fingers of butter, it must be sad. Well, let's say wig style in makeup artistry. That's amazing. I oh, like that one, did you, Avian? Excellent. And now we're up against it, and there's another one to free, I think. Come to the Sabbath then. Ah. The attack where it comes out of the ground is really irritating to choreograph. So these are like boss versions of the original enemies. Sort? Well, maybe they're gifting you a way over there, Alice. Have you thought of that? <sighs> oh, I tried to teach you to knit, Avian. When I was in high school, uh, we had a textiles class. Needless to say, it did not go well for me. We had woodwork and metalwork as well. That went even worse. Oh, I always shot the platform. Into the abyss we go. Let's 
try that again. No, it's something past it. It's something past the platform. I've seen some people doing like costumes and like you know things from knitting, and I'm just like, where do you find the patience? Oh, what the hell! Right, evidently the darkness kills you. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, because we are kind of in the ethereal spirit world. So you gotta wait for the light. You can't just like speed run jump across. If you do that you get damaged. So that's an interesting mechanic. That you gotta wait for the light. Grateful thanks for releasing me. I never dream. Although it's frustrating, I just took damage even though I was on the platform at That's the end. It. That's it, good girl. So we're freeing the crew. That's what we're doing here. God, no power ups. Boo. Say so hand sewing's not it is a useful skill, but I just don't have it. It takes me like fifteen minutes to thread a needle, let alone start actually using the needle. Right, come on then, bot mini boss time. Oh, what a surprise! He's got back up. The psycho mode saved me then. Goes, finished it. Ah. How can a soul be so ignorant? I'm an answered prayer. So we're very much in the rule of three here, people. It must be said. Three souls, three gates.
Oh, hello. Thank you very much. I'm actually still gaining health, so I'm still doing this. It's just going to take longer, I'm afraid, people. There's not much I can do about it. But yeah, ah, so you spent 12 hours making your Balset, Balset painting. Um, wow, that must be a nightmare. It came out fantastically well. Though. I do love that prop X tail, but yeah. When I was doing my um, light when I was doing my light gun on the sniper rifle, it took me about uh, two hours of painting and drying, but it was quite easy because I was able to just do it outside using spray paint. It wasn't too bad at all. Meanwhile, good evening, Rosalie Dragon. Just seen you jump in there. How you how you doing? How you doing well? So, yeah, so good evening, Rosé Dragon. I think I said that halfway through there, but I was obviously focused on getting out of the level, so how are you doing? Hurry along, Alice. See, Alice has become very much the fetch quest queen, has she? But yes, if I had any idea what to do and how to make it, I would make that costume, because I think it's incredible. It's, it's not quite as bad as Crash. Don't be, don't be harsh on this avian. It's not that brutal. It's not far off, but it's not that brutal. It's nowhere near as infuriating. I don't think that's what he said, Rosé Dragon, but you know what? I can understand the misheard lyrics on that one. Hits him because they're not doing enough damage to the shells. He keeps on surrounding himself with a lot of shit to keep on taking all my heart away. So, I mean, I actually aimed that at that one then, but he switched to the little slugs because there's no way to get rid of them. That one. No, stop, stop all the me. There we are, it's better. So this one's not that hard, it's just annoying. Get back here, you fucker. That's right. Get down, stay down. Yeah. Nice try. Super nice try, mate. But not this time.
think one of my most annoying, one of my, one of my pet hates in games is where you have the challenge isn't actually the, isn't actually the boss, but a lot of underlings is summoned to do all the dirty work for them. Stop all the way with you. Ah, oh, you're not so tough now, you little shitter out of action, are you? Yeah. Do angels have this much trouble? Good question, Alice. Very good question. Still, we beat it by sheer brute force. It worked. It wasn't ideal, because it meant we lost quite a lot of health, but hey-ho, we made it. That's all that matters. I'm going to die here. I've not got any health. Nothing I can do. I went too fast for the um, for the for the level. Yeah, I wasn't going to be getting through there somehow. Ah, we've re we've restarted at the critical health condition. That's frustrating. That makes things a little better. Now we can heal up for a little while. So this is the part where we have a chance to say it's burned into your head, eh, Rose? <laughs> that's right, I assure you that's not part of the plan. Annoying. That's the way Got him. It's back to the ship for me. Many thanks, Alice. Be as good to yourself as you've been to us. Haul anchor and heave to, men. It's the wide and glorious main for us. It looks like we've set them free. Which is good. Have my rocking horse. Ah, that's interesting. So you gotta go. You can go slash them bang. That's kind of useful. So you can mix and match. I didn't think of trying that. I think it was this way. Yep, it is. The LT trick gave us the right way. Yeah, I thought I saw a hidden route here. It's not a thing. It was a bit hard, yeah, but it was a good challenge. I would say it was. There was some balance to it. It wasn't. It wasn't easy, but there was certainly a method to beating it. Right, so what is our reward for coming out here, then, I wonder? Hmm. 
No! Like games like too bad. Whoever destroys a soul, destroys the world. There is much wisdom in that, Alice. Ooh, destroy the soul and you destroy the world. Well, now what do we have here? More secrets, that's what we have here. Oh, I thought there might be something inside that in, inside the ship there, but unfortunately, cannot get inside it. So, what else is back here? Ah, a spring. Ah, also we've got another slide, baseball slide level. Yeah, we're going down the slide, people. Here we go. This time we're going on a on a, on a, on, a, on, a, on fish scales. Need to avoid collecting the collecting them. That was cool. That was actually really cool. Oh, it's one of you tosses again. Oh, it's the Colossal Ruin. So it's an even bigger one. Ah, right, so that's a lot that's a lot faster than it looks. Actually, you can't actually deflect the attacks back on that. Yeah, you need to get it to expose its body. So that might be the only way to damage it. This really is the Benny Older fans now that I'm using here. Does anyone want to uh, like start humming the music? Ah, right, okay. I don't know if it's meant to be a stealth boss or what, but it's irritating. Well, I might as well stand here and wait. There's not much more we can do at the moment. Oh, what the... Ah! 
thought I didn't kill her. I'm surprised by that. I thought I would have finished her off, but apparently not. So it seems that, as I mean, it's, there's no way you can melee attack it because you can't get close enough. And the pepper, even with the pepper grinder at maximum, I wasn't doing enough. I didn't seem to be doing any damage to it. And you can't deflect the shells back. The, like, the other ones, you can deflect shells back at it, but you can't here. It doesn't work. Or at least if it does, there's some kind of weird timing mechanic. I don't know what it is. I thought it might have been a case of trying to get to higher ground, but there's no, pl there's no platforms. I've just taken one of the hats out. I heard it go. Yay, we managed to make it. In the end, I just thought I'd try and run around and shoot as much as I could, so... Bugger off. Get out of my way. It's what happens when you summon demons of that kind to fight me. You get swatted aside. Well, maybe not swatted, but we certainly tried. Oh, I thought I could get something from that fish, but apparently not. Ah, so we need to go down there. So because we need to go down there, I'm going to take a look around here first. And I was right. I thought there might be something through here. Another jumping puzzle. Ah, hang on a second. Come on, come on, come on. Good, good. Oh, what the hell? No! I managed to undershoot the platform. Because I am an idiot. Oh, is this one of those levels? I think it is. Where we got to survive against the, um, all the teddies or whatever it was. There's no time to waste. There's no time at all.
Ooh, ooh. Let's try again. This time, actually do a ranged attack on them because that seems to work. Once you have one enemy in a position so you can range attack it, that seems to do quite a lot of damage. There's no time to waste. There's no time at all. Well, there's plenty of time when you won't bother to um, summon anything to attack that. He threw, the, he threw the pepper sides back to me. Oh, yeah, that sounds horrible, Rose. A mac and cheese that they taste like plastic. Blech. Ew. Nah, not my idea of fun. Not my idea of fun at all. Kind of like being killed by my own There's weapon. There's no time to waste. There's no time at all. Dodge one should have done. So I think my um, RB button is not that, not that responsive. Oh, what the hell? Ah, so you can actually fall down there. That's irritating. They can't, though.
on stacks people, I do apologise for that. That's better. Yeah, trying something else is probably a better idea, because I would say taste of like microwave plastic is ugh. No one's idea of fun. I am determined to make it through this. A bit part of the problem is I've tried a bit too hard with brute there's no force. Time to waste. There's no time at all. Part of the issue is there's no cover. Like there's there's no cover for the enemies. There's no cover for getting away from them. I need to um, get this focus on. There we go, one down.
one can't be killed. Yay! Did it. <sighs> Come, Ellis, don't dawdle. You've already missed the train! And then we're through, but we've got very, very little health. But we made it, people. Yes. We have literally gone mad. We went into psycho mode as a way to survive. But the key thing is it worked. We made it. Now the problem. How the hell do I get my health back? <laughs> That's the next part. Oh, hello. There's a, there's, a, there's a piggy in here. Yep, see? How cool was that? We found a hidden piggy. Taking us to a what? To another bottle. Because apparently we need to find drink in this game. As if we need any more excuses to go crazy. Eh? Uh, I thought I might have found something there, but apparently not. Every picture tells a story. Sometimes we don't like the ending. Sometimes we don't understand it. Yes, yeah, so that, that, that was the criticism I got for my novel. People didn't understand the ending. I've wrote one, and that will do nicely. I'd really like somewhere to recover my health. Even if it's only a couple of like ti tiny little petals and not even a full healing, that would be fine. Yes, but this is a very intriguing part of the stream, isn't it? Very intriguing part of the story. But we're back in the main halls by the sounds of it. What the hell? <laughs> Bizarre shit. I agree, Alice. That's quite enough of that, I think. Enough preliminaries. Here's the performance you've been waiting for. Proves I am without prejudice and have a fine sense of humour. Sword and crown are worthless here. I invite everyone to dance. Laborers, lawyers, church and gown all make their little pranks. This life is full of random deaths and heaps of grief and shame. So few are soothed by accident, you want someone to blame. Fire, plague and strange disease, drowned, murdered or if you please, a long fall down the basement stairs, none are expected. No one cares. I often must work very hard, sweat running down my skin. After the dance, I then must rest, and the eating can begin. Time to eat. Death is the ultimate equalizer. All have the right to be eaten. <laughs> Get a knife, Princess. Don't push. All will be served. So to speak. What the what hell? Thing? Feasting while Wonderland is destroyed. I'm not the enemy you seek, Alice. I tried to hide this bit of Wonderland from that beast. Appeasement's never clean. We must all play our assigned roles. Are you a pawn or a queen? An idiot or a practiced fool? However this turns out, consider the prospect that you've been misled, Alice. Then ask, by whom? No! Who set that bloody train in motion? 
Where does it come from? It arrived when you arrived. And it's more horrible even than you could currently imagine. The death of a dream caterpillar may know how. This game is trippy as hell. And now we've got a red out. And oh look, the pub's on fire. And we've been rescued. What? The blood in my mouth tastes like bile. Where's the brute that hit me, Nanny? Nasty prats out cold. Not dead and more's the pity. What did he want? What they all want. Money didn't earn. What were you thinking, button into that mess? You could have been killed. Nanny, my mind's in pieces. I still have terrible visions and I need to know. About the fire. Same as always. You need to move on, Alice. So do I. Well, at least she's not spewing that asylum nonsense. My past is dead. I killed them. I should have saved them. I should have died. Her mind was in shambles. Radcliffe thought familiar faces would bring her round. After a year, he lost interest in her inheritance, greedy sod. Still, always asking his bizarre questions. Heavy dose of madness, I'd say, but honest is never the best policy in this life. When she wasn't comatose, she gaped, eyes like pinwheels, drooled, occasionally squeaked. Never uttered a sensible sound. And like the child she was, she kept her secrets close. Different version of the main theme playing. Gone off some lurkers, common as cockroaches. And those poor tykes are food for perverts, like the blameless ants that wasps consume or spiders feeble prey. You visited my room at Rutledge. What you were you call that? Radcliffe paid me for a bit. A woman alone sometimes does what she doesn't particularly feel like doing. As you know. Nurse Whitless said you'd fallen on hard times. I'm no drunk like her. I'm hurting no one. Hooking's not a bad life. Except for the pimps. She also said you might have my rabbit. Please, Nanny, talk about the damn fire. Never seems to help. Look, Alice, I can't give you what I don't have. Radcliffe wrote the inquest report. I'll take you to him. Besides, he's got your damn rabbit. You should remember that. All right, but Mr. Radcliffe's useless. Don't I know it? <laughs> there are times I ask what's the crazier world? This alternate version of London? Or Wonderland? Yeah, so there's Nanny. Taking a nice break on the on, on the on the edge. And again we've lost our vertical leap, we can't jump anymore. Look at that guy's face. Here we all go. I could give you a prime cut if you'll just take a seat round here. This gentleman will be a part of the arrangement as well. Don't worry about it, love. No shame in it. That's the kind of face I'm getting from these guys. Come on. You know you want some, don't ya? Yeah. I've got plenty of cheese. It's been well cured by my nose. Now, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting at the moment. Oh, there we are. Machine mad... Machine made corsets direct from Paris, apparently. Yeah, corsets. They're not fun. They restrict your breathing, restrict your chest, and they're expensive. These streets are mad deserted. We've got a street magician here. Oh no, it's the Undertaker. I mean, I, I know a good plot's prime real estate these days, but literally just jumping them in the street? I don't think the times have got that bad. So I do love this Victorian Gothic aesthetic, uh, aesthetic they've got here. It's a like very 1910, very 1900. Very Jacob Reese Moggs ideal era. Yep, Milton J. Radcliffe, LLB, Solicitor. Yes, 
Who is it? Alice Little, Mr. Radcliffe. Ah, oh, you're back. I suppose you'd better come up. Mind the latch. So Victorian Goth is pretty awesome, it has to be said. You're not wrong there, Rose. Yes, yeah, so now we're inside the house. So let's take a look around. This fine collection of oriental oriental vases. Someone who's very well travelled. This is an old Victorian study. And there's a nice Mad Hatter style top hat there. Very Anthony Eden. Hmm? The ancient scroll is parchment and the characters are drawn in Indian ink, which Radcliffe claims the Chinese invented eons ago by mixing soot, lamp oil, gelatin of donkey skin and musk. He does know some remarkable things. I was like, goth is cool. I like to say, but I, I've, I've got my, I've still got my steampunk jacket. That I um, might turn into a Devil May Cry cosplay sometime. Radcliffe, who can make even fascinating subjects boring, says the curved blade is 16th century Meito katana and the short sword is called wakizashi, both used by Japanese samurai. Swan de Porcelain, Mr. Rackler says, is the Ming Dynasty's finest. Beautiful shapes, best colours, and most prized decorations. This is very much a case of I can impress people. And here he is. Forgotten your manners? And what else, I wonder? You abandoned it at Rutledge Asylum, my dear. We've been over this before. In a huff as usual, oozing with attitude and accusatory flummery, I've stolen her rabbit. Ridiculous pretext. She's here about the fire again. All the mad child wants to talk about. My report found her family dead by misadventure. She won't accept it. It goes on and on about her killing memories and her need to know the truth. The alleged truth is the fire began in the library when the cat knocked over a lamp. The blaze trapped her parents and sister upstairs. Sister Lizzie never even unlocked her door, died in her bed. The guilty cat always sets her off. She denies it, makes no sense, it can't be, etc. Agreed. From the outset, Alice was my candidate for the pyromaniac. The girl had a fixation with fire. I once remarked that I thought she might have had a larger role in causing the tragedy. She suffered some sort of psychotic episode. Wow, talk about blaming the victim. Did I rip his head off? I wanted to. Oh. Now where are we? What's left of my brain will explode. Is it mad to pray for better hallucinations? Okay, Perhaps we've... I'm fated to expire right here. So we've done a silent hill here, and we've gone from the populated town to the abandoned one. All moobles and effects are gone. Nothing but dust, stains, and the smell of tobacco. No sign of the coroner's report or my rabbit either. Damn him! So either he was never here... Or Alice has gone mad again. We're in a very interesting narrative with this game. I really like its ideals. I say it's a shame that they never continued it, as far as I know. I think there's this game and the original on the Xbox original console, and that's it. The barricade discourages squatters. Suggests he didn't sell up, just left quickly. Can't get through this way. But I recall the place of the door in the back that opened on the lane. Yeah, you say you wish you could cosplay V but all the tattoos. I mean, you can always find, um, like, you know, a bodysuit or something. That's what I want to do for Demi Fiend. I want to make a dem I want to make the tattoos out of a bodysuit rather than having body paint done. I don't want to spend hours being painted. Not that I mind, but I mind taking up all the time from everybody else. 
You can never decide if you like this Alice or Tim Burton's more. Well, the fact of the matter is, neither stand up to Shin Megami Tensei Alice. Oh, it's, now it's in the middle of winter. Interesting. And I like the fact that, depending on which angle the light is, the light effects change. I don't know if that's a deliberate narrative design or part of the port, but it kind of works. What the... What in the name of... All that's holy and unholy is that? Looks like a turtle... Sea captain. That would be pretty awesome, actually, Rose. Yeah, that'd be pretty fuck. That'd be pretty epic. Oh, the mushrooms are in the real world now. This is very trippy. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. This is different. And there's the train. Which is designed like a church. That can't be a coincidence. She must have an issue with like a Catholic priest or something like that. Ruin! It's corrupting all of Wonderland. Seeking refuge from the wicked world? Perhaps things only look like they've gone to hell. You're not that good a liar, and I'm not that stupid. But something a bit less calamitous would have been welcome. This unmitigated disaster is your doing, and it will get worse. Your train keeps a hellish schedule. Get moving. Time waits for no one. The change has begun. The train is perfectly capable of terrifying me, Cat. You should find another job. Is there really so little hope? There's even less, and if fear paralyzes you, we are lost. Yes, Doom Train. We are in the Vale of Doom, and as you can see... Oh! Oh, thank you! The game just gave me a full free heal! Awesome! what you get for attacking me. Yeah, you love the Vorpal Blade. I think it's fantastic. Oh, what's this? Oh! Um, Journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. A single step off London Bridge could end my journey. Failure was your epitaph. Uh, I'd hoped you were more courageous. Yep, so evidently we have to smoke in this game. Can't say I'm happy about that. Can't say I'm happy about that at all. I don't like encouraging that. Mainly because I'm not encouraging it personally. Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. Get down and stay down. Ah, 
Oh, that's pretty awesome. And uh, you know, you met an honest cosplayer back in 2016. Oh, that's so cool. That vaporous ledge only appears as flimsy and insubstantial as your confidence. It will hold you. Trust me. Ah, welcome back, Queen. We've um, gone through a very interesting, trippy vision of the past, and now we are in another part of Wonderland. Because our sense into madness does not go that f that quickly. Oh no 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 no! So we're back in the traditional Alice co Alice costume now as well. We are no longer underwater, having gone through a rather difficult time with it, but in the best way possible. It's a no, I'm afraid. It's a no from me. Oh, it's you buggers again. Get out of here, you. You two. Hey. There might be a keyhole back this way. No, no, there isn't. That's annoying. Oh, we have a new teapot right in the middle by itself. I don't like the look of that. I think I need to shoot it because it's got it's got a colour on it. Yeah, that's definitely an enemy, but I can't do anything with it. I think I've got no choice but to interact with this anima. Yeah, you can see there it's saying kill the, kill the demons. Yeah. Oh. It's a weapon. The teapot cannon. Ah, so you switch the teen pepper pot by using mouse scroll up or down, apparently. Ah! get away from that, it's really annoying. However, earlier on in the stream...
have any way to get away from this weapon, apart from just spamming dodge, I think. It's literally the only thing I can do. I think that might be enough. Ah! Yes, remember to upgrade my weapons. I mean, I can upgrade my um, teapot, I suppose, now I think about it. Yeah. I can upgrade a teapot cannon. Hey, nice. <laughs> That's a little silly, but in the best way possible. Oh, she's no longer holding the teapot. Nice little visual glitch there, I don't know if you all saw that. That one has a picture of teeth, but I know why that is, I know why. This is a bit more apocalyptic, isn't it? In, a, in its design. here. It's suggesting we need to go through that door there. Hmm. That looks too much like a way to go to me. Definitely something back there, I can see it. See, there's, that, there's a memory back there, but I don't know how to get to it. There we go. That's where I get to do something I don't like and endorse him. I'm devastated. Look what's become of my beautiful valley. All things change in the fullness of time, often not for better. Aha! That's now become solid. I knew there was a way back there. Same 
There's definitely a lot going on here, people. This is one of the more mysterious, intriguing games I've played. In the best way possible. Stay down. Very tribal music all of a sudden, isn't the people? It's a bit unbefitting of the game. Just realise that someone picks up power up areas down here. I'm not leaving behind loot, that's not in my style. Deep in the bowels of Alice's steampunk mind. Why fight them hand to hand when you can when you can kill them just like that? Okay, a big fat nothing over there, which is irritating. Never mind. So what's over here then? Aside from a lot of lava pots, of course. So I'm not a fan of having to use pipes like that. It makes me wonder why... Um, I'm actually quite surprised that it was um, allowed out with that. Over here in the UK now, they've decided they're going to try and make it so that it's impossible to uh, buy cigarettes. use the teapot to break the wall apparently. Not from there I can't. Ah well I can there of course. Oh come on seriously? That's more like it. Oh, hello. How convenient. Thank you very much. Oh, 
I will happily take the um, oh, there's another bottle up there which I've no idea how to get to Oh, it's about turning these guys. Taking out a teapot with another teapot. Never thought of that before. Cheating. Hey, well, good evening, Joe. Just seeing you jump into the chat there, mate. How are you doing? So far, so good. I'm currently using a teapot as a weapon against a lot of enemies, and it's surprisingly effective. As our world has slowly fallen apart, it would seem. Oh, it's these guys again. Yes, would you, would you kindly stop attacking me? How have you been anyway, uh, Joe? Have you been enjoying yourself so far this evening? We've been descending deeper into madness here on the old stream because this game has taken somewhat of a turn. Ah, I took a nap because of a headache. I can understand that, mate. I can understand that completely. Hope you're feeling a bit better now you've had your nap, though. Say, it can sometimes be a simple little reset like that can make all the difference, can't it? Looks like I've just seen the teapot, so I think we're saved again. You're feeling better now it's gone. It's all much nicer, to say the least. So let's carry on going as we get up this level here. Awesome stuff. That's right, show your face. Show your face. See you later. Ah, 
what are you going to do now that your shields are actually, eh? Yes, that's right. I'm fighting this enemy with a cup of tea. I prefer coffee, but then again, it means wasting coffee by shooting at me. Anyway. It's not my shooting tea. do that to me. You excited for spooky season? Um, <laughs> absolutely. I'm definitely excited for spooky season. Of course, I've got myself a hollow stream that I'm going to be doing um, on the Halloween night itself indeed. Well, we will be playing a banned survival horror game, which I'm really looking forward to exploring. I'm always excited for spooky season. Spooky season is good. I had a leap of faith then and it didn't like it. We have restarted where exactly? Ah, we started here. Okay, that makes sense. It's on the candy, eh? Oh. Memo to me. Don't try jumping when you're in shrunk mode. You can't jump in shrunk mode. Memo to me. Memo to me. Aha. Right, excellent. I don't have to use the steam valve here. Lots of platform instead. If a cigarette's no fun at all, why would you want to try a pipe, which is even worse? That doesn't make any sense. Am I the only one? Am I the only one thinking that? Yeah, all the, all the clocks have gone crazy. We are very much in chaos alignment mode here, it would seem. Oh. The sight, the stink, the sinister sound. Um, no, actually, they didn't show. That's interesting that they're going back to do Le Mans. Maybe they saw what happened with um, Ferrari. To be fair, it's not a bad fit. The well, last time they tried Le Mans, they had what has to be the worst LMP1 car ever in the AMR1. It was so bad. So they definitely won't finish business at Le Mans, it must be said.
Oh, I wonder what happened then. If I think the camera got locked in modes. That's how you stop it. There's all these videos you can find about the AMR one. It was pretty bad from what I understand. It didn't it didn't come anywhere near the top flight. It was an open wheel flight version, you know the open cockpit design? And it just never really got close to the front running at all. It was always way off the pace. Though it's nowhere near as bad as Nissan's legendarily awful um, attempt. I'm stuck, I can't get out. I'm stuck. She won't get out of the pod. I'm, I'm actually stuck. There's nothing I can do. Unbelievable, we've glitched out. I'm going to have to end the game. I'm going to have to quit. I can't get I can't get out. I'm stuck I'm, I'm stuck in I'm stuck in here. There's nothing I can do. There's absolutely nothing I can do. We have to restart the last checkpoint. Assuming it's going to let me do that. Or has the game gone into really serious mode? Yep, I think the game has decided to have a crash. How annoying. Yep, the game has crashed. The game has gone down, 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 and decided it does not want to work. So I've had to do the old reset at the program mode. I do apologise, people. There's not much I can do about it. We're going to try again in a second. I'm going to let the game play, but what I'm not going to do is do anything until we're at the title screen. I want to see exactly where we're going to bring back. Yeah, fingers crossed it's saved after the fight. I might have saved it before because I was talking to the, uh, to the cat and I'm pretty sure I saw the clock hand moving which tells me that's when it's going to pick it up from so i'm literally at the moment letting the game load i don't want to do anything until i've got the title screen the reason for that is very simple in the past it's caused problems in the test runs and i've already enough problems tonight as it is so let's not uh, pick it up again so i'm just going to quick continue game and then very quickly we're going to lose audio for a few seconds So we've saved somewhere, and I think we've saved... I'm not sure if we saved where we were or not. I think it literally just saved after the fight. It did. I think we've got lucky. I think we've just gotten the luckiest we've ever been, people. I think we've just got insanely lucky. So now I'm going to stay away from the Venus flytrap. I will risk having less health and a few less teeth to make sure that the game runs. 
So apologies for the very about you, Alice. Look at the destruction around you. Consider its cause. Then come join me. How about no, you pillow? So I've made a way up there, but what I don't have is a way to get across to it, which is annoying. Unless there's another steam valve that I can't see anywhere. Or a pig snout. But I don't see any of those either. Okay, never mind. There's definitely some way, because you can also see here, you know, you see the golden teeth. Ah, ah, there's a platform on the other side. But I think also it might well be an issue with my controller because I just noticed then that I stayed in shrunk mode even though I'd let go of the shrink button. So I think there might be an issue with my controller. That might be part of the problem here, people. And if that's the case, that's fine. I'll just have to learn to live with it. And there's a keyhole over there as well. Skin burned by fire or scald or steam is beautiful like a toadstool in winter. Yeah, it probably is time to replace it. To be fair, an Xbox One controller is quite cheap these days, I think. How annoying. That's... <laughs> Oh yeah, what are you gonna do, mate? See, you can't get me in here, can you? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You can't get me. take the eye of the teapot. Not the eye of the tiger, the eye of the teapot. When you, when you think about that, it doesn't make much sense, does it? I've got the eye of the teapot. That doesn't make much sense at all. But then again, this is my game and my stream, so of course it doesn't make any sense. There's nothing back here apart from enemies. I'm disappointed. I'd hoped there'd be more back there, but apparently not. How frustrating. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Yeah, it's my LB button. My LB button keeps sticking. I mean, I love the shadow of the of the, of the um, eye in there, but you can't do anything about it unless. What's the keyboard for crouching again? It said LB. Left control. Oh, let me try that. not the controller because I just don't put oh hey okay um somehow I somehow I glitched around it I don't know what I did then I literally just don't the controller moved the mouse around a bit and that seems to somehow force an override 
So that's annoying because that's the way to get your health back. What the hell? You are familiar with the saying that smoking stunts your growth. Adults assault children with that adage. Usually while they've got a pipe stuck in their mouths. I won't ask you to inhale. Let the smoke envelop you. Yeah, k kids don't smoke. It's a nasty addiction. Oh. Yep, so now we've got permanent stunts in a grove, apparently. Oh, what the... Oh, we've gone into the... Oh, we're in China now. We've gone to the Chinese version. So I wonder if we've got, like, a... Kind of like a kimono kind of design. We do. That's really cool, actually. I love the... I love the... It's a very simple interpretation. Like, with the double bow, with the... In fact, if you look really closely, the skull on the back is very similar to what's known as the Tenoji um, demon masks, which you see in a lot of Japanese and Chinese temples. Where they have, like, you know, if you if you see, like, Yoshitsune's um, mask... No, not Yoshitsune, sorry, Yoshimitsu's mask, even, from Tekken. St styled very similar to that, with all the cherry blossoms. That's a really simple, but very nice design. I actually really like that. Yeah, you, you love the dress, do you, actually, um, Avian? I think it's a very, very nice design. Again, very, very simple, but very on point for its theme. And I say all the dresses that we've seen in this game so far have been awesome. Well, we've got Koi Carp now, so we're definitely more into Japan rather than China. <laughs> so you want this dress? I, I I want the underwater one, Exotail, and you want and you want the um the um Japanese one, the kimono style. I say it's just very very cool. I say I love the idea of like these different designs. And I say it's just cool how they got the different ver interpretations of the skulls and everything else on the on the on the design. It's cool. Oh, hang on. Where's that pig? I hear you, piggy. Where are you, piggy? No one said you could speak, piggy. Where are you? There you are. Excellent. Whoever said true art serves neither ornament nor use is ignorant of the aesthetic of the East. I say it's got very simple music for this. Many people will question whether it counts as music, it's just so simple, which is nice. Aha! There is a... A keyhole all the way over there. So the question is, how do we get to it? It's interesting how we've gone from, like, the apocalypse to... Rural Japan. Aha, that's how. I knew it'd be a way. There we are. Get, get a close look. Get a up close look at the dress for you, Avian. Who died? 
Dodgson is a pathetic sailor and an even worse captain. We'd have run aground on the ISIS if I hadn't taken an oar. Um, that's what the dress does. I think it's just purely an aesthetic, um, Queen. Because the um, game has now moved from the like steampunky gothic gothic apocalypse to very much a like Asian like Japan China inspired. So that's why we've got the dress. And yeah, it's a shame actually. The, the, like, the kind of like the geisha hairstyle like the tail or the um, or like the or like the warrior priestess the, the likes of um, Okunanushi Okun rocked. That would be actually really really cool. Actually, that would have been really awesome. Definitely been a different design. I like it. Good suggestion. If they ever make a third game, you should pitch it to them. It's a great idea. Oh, what? The camera change made me fall off. <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll, I'll do a dark side fill and I'll blame the camera. I won't, I won't blame my lack of skill at the game. I'll, 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 I'll blame the camera. The camera killed me. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't fair at all. And all that shite. Not nope, nothing in there. Okay. And I'm guessing we just gotta go back. There's hang on. Is there no way we just came? So ah. Uh, I knew there was I knew there was something I was missing. I'm like, what was the point of that? Now I know. So I've got to go up and then back across on myself. That makes sense. So we, yeah, I was, I was just thinking to myself, I'm there. But well, what's the point of sending me this way? And they weren't. They were sending me this way. Ah, uh, we got a save. That's good news. Little wrist, wrist watch in the corner. Well, pocket watch, should I say. Oh, they've got the One Piece pirate skulls. How many berry are we going to be worth? Hey, more secrets. What Nurse Witless said was the fire. Lit her up like the guy on Cracker Night. No one knows how she survived except Alice. And she's stupid. Remember. Yes, no one knows how Alice got out. Except for Alice herself, apparently. And Alice is not talking. Yeah, so these hanging lanterns, very traditional in, like, Japan, Singapore, um, Thailand, China. Very, very traditional. Oh, we got a brief hang, but then it loaded. Oh, what the hell? It's a samurai wasp. Yeah, you you might have a samurai sword, but I've got I've got I've got the Vorpal blade. Oh, okay, we're playing by those rules, are we? Yeah. How about you lose your sword? There you go. I'll do I'll do a rock from Soul Calibur. And just beat you to death instead. Now let's let's go full full east end thug. There we are. When in doubt, East End Thug. That's that's the way I do it. Anyone who watched the 24-hour Crisis score stream will know how much I, and how, how much of a fan of Eastland the Flug I was on that stream. <laughs> yes, learning enemies. How dare they? How dare they not have predictable patterns that I can exploit a thousand times? How dare they have AI that actually learns a lesson? How dare they? You're not allowed to do that game. You're not allowed. To, you're not allowed to develop skills like the player. Who gave you the right to do that? Um, Rose, I, I don't mind Mortal Kombat, but I will be honest, I'm not a massive fan. But that's because I'm not really a Tournament Fighters fan. The only Tournament Fighter game I ever really want to say I was a fan of was the likes of Soul Blade and Soul Calibur. Something about the weapons I really liked, but 
all the other ones I've played, like Dead or Alive, Tekken, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, I've enjoyed them. But I wouldn't say I'm anything like a fan at all, because it's just not my style. They might learn, but unfortunately they don't learn that their sword is not no match for my rocking horse. My rocking horse will pummel them into the ground and they will like it. But if they don't like it, well they're not gonna get up anyway, so what do I care? You're either gonna like you don't like you're gonna like it, you're gonna lump it, or you're gonna die. Either way, I win. Aha, I spy a secret entrance. Thank you. So one thing I do like about this game, it really encourages you to explore. Certain smells are one off. You'd never mistake burning human flesh for roasting a lamb chop. If you're smelling burning flesh, um do yourself a do do yourself and everyone else a favour. Check yourself into a very secure ward and never get out. Akuma in Tekken? Do you mean in the do you mean like the Street Fighter Cross Tekken games? I don't remember Akuma appearing in any of the actual Tekken games. Though you could have the devil form of Kazuya, I suppose. Your devil form and angel form. Right, it looks like I'm gonna have to shoot you down. And you're not the one that I need. Oh, what the hell? I fell short. That's so annoying. Oh, he's in Tekken 7. Right, okay. I'll have to play it on the arcade next time I'm at Arcade Club, because they've got Tekken 7 on the upstairs area. They've got one of the few arcade... Oh. Memo to me. Memo to me. Don't jump into fire. I might think I'm hot shit, but trust me, fire is going to win every time. Right, there go the flames. I could have easily made that, but never mind. It's no big deal. Oh, I did it again. I fell short again. What am I doing? Apart from sucking really badly at platform games. Which is, again, no surprise to anyone who watched the Crash Bandicoot, Sonic Adventure, Spyro the Dragon, Mirror's Edge... Oh god, how many others? What can we go through here? Sonic 06. Yep, we can pull the chain. Are you gonna move? Oh, yeah. The performance is getting ugly, people. I'm getting some weird input, input delays. Which I think is a suggestion that maybe I might want to think about looking at ending the stream soon. Evidently, they can't hold it, Captain. Oh, The platform was just constantly moving away. It's like, I'm not letting you get close. You're not getting close. I thought I could be cheeky. The game was like, yeah, nice try. Super nice try, but not this time, mate. It is a bit mean, Queen, but then again, it's me playing the game, so games like to be mean to me. But it's fine, you know, at the end of the day, it's just part of the game. Same for everybody who plays it. Oh, the kitty wants to talk to us. She who saves a single soul saves the universe. Remember? Right. 
Okay, this has got this has got boss arena written all over it. Yep, I had a feeling it was one of you. Oh, what the hell? You managed to no sell my attack. How dare you no sell my attack? Get in the ground where you belong. Oh, now we've got a dynamo wasp, which appears to be a bit bigger. Ah, so it's one of those. Alright, so I think I think you gotta make him attack you. And make him miss. He's down. Ah, nice, um, Rosé. You might be going on to uh, Resident Evil 4 Mercs. I will say this. If you can get more than, I think it's 100,000 or 200,000 points on each stage, you unlock the hand cannon. Believe me, you want to do that. If you unlock the hand cannon, it makes getting the S ranks on the harder difficulties, like hardcore or even professional, a lot simpler. Now, where is that pig? I hear you snorting. So, where are you? I can hear you snorting and it's taunting me. Where are you? Ah, you've got it, have you? The only problem I found with the hand cannon in a Resident Evil 4 remake, it is one of the least accurate guns in the world. It is so inaccurate. It hits like a tank, but getting a shot to actually hit the enemy is a nightmare. Oh, bollocks, it's closed behind me, that's it, I'm stuck. So wherever, wherever the piggy is, it's got away. God damn it. That's cheap. That's well, it's not cheap. It's just unfortunate. I've fallen fool to an error. Damn it! Oh, what the hell? Is she the chosen one? Our savior, our benefactor. So we're literally looking at pieces of origami. That's actually amazing. They've all been turned into like origami paper versions of uh, praying mantises. So suppose that uh, in SMT, um, whatever it's called, um, Shikyoji is now canon. We'll keep just the one lamp, Alice, as a night light, but it stays in the upstairs hall and only till you turn 12. I'm guessing she was a friend. The magnificent, the powerful, the brave, the reckless, the rash, the crazy, the imprudent. I would dispute all those claims. Except it's true. As for separate ways, Rose, I've not Speaking played that yet. Yes, you really must. He knows things. He even thinks things. I've not played separate ways yet, so I don't I don't like the fact that it's paid DLC. It's so annoying that separate ways is something you have to pay for now. Um, so I might look into getting it, but it's not immediate. I'm gonna, I'm going to at some point. I'm deliberately, try, I'm desperately trying to. Oh, hello! I spy a piggy.
That time it let me out. That's annoying because I could have got the healing for that. Never mind, it's dumb. Yeah, it is a bit of a paywall and it's annoying, but there's only so much you can really do. Oh, there's another puzzle, a slide puzzle, I think. We have one of these early in the stream. Your victories in combat and conundrum suggest your fitness to confront the challenges ahead. Mental strength will confirm your worthiness, or declare your defeat. Yep, so there's missing pieces to find. I think we need to find another four or five pieces. Well, there's one of them already. And I think I spy a secret route here. I do indeed. Well, it's not really a secret if you need to go here, but I, dig I digress. Here. Oh, this is cool. We're now in like an. Oh! That's not so cool. Did you really think that was gonna work, mate? Did you really think that was gonna work? Aha! Uh -huh, I know what I need to do here. Oh, I can't do any. I, I thought I might be able to do something to them, but no, you can't. Not that that's really crooked anyway. missing one final piece of the puzzle which might be back here oh but perhaps they could have never added it and done an re3 do you remember know re3 remake i never actually played the full game i was so disappointed with the demo i never wanted to play it i was that disappointed right here we go so now we need to make a dragon tail by the looks of it We've got 24 moves. Yeah, we're going to write our moves on this one. Too bad, we're gonna write our moves. But that's okay, it's all about trial and error. Perfect, right, so. This one's less obvious than the one we. Pr aha, ha 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 ha, right. Okay. I think that might be it. Hey, there we go. You can save us. I'll open the path. I mean, 7 is cheaper than expected, I suppose, but God, the, the PS1 demo this days. I remember the double the double sized demo for the original Metal Gear Solid, where you could play around with the Nikita launcher before you even met up with the DARPA chief. So that was a lot of fun. Hey, a secret keyhole. Let's go, let's go through the keyhole. And now for our host and studio audience, but not for our panel. If you get that reference, then oh my god. She imagines odd things, and she has a hero complex, an inherent desire to help others, being unable to help herself, and a compulsion to make the world right. She's trying to unlock the true meaning of her life, and she doesn't know who has the key. Did we really need that to be created? Seriously? Did we really need that? 
Up there? Did we really need that? What on earth? Why? Ah, you're still collecting the demo discs, are you? That's kind of cool. Now, there's some, some things are lost on like that. Some of the demo discs contained like lost prototypes of um, games which you've never been able to play again. Like prototype levels or um, placeholders that ne never made anywhere else. That's right, I want the tooth. And over we go. Awesome. The wicked wasps lay siege upon us and control the peaks to east and west. You must defeat them to reach Caterpillar's retreat. I suppose I must go to the mountain top, as it won't come to me. We have faith that Caterpillar, the strange and wondrous, helps those in need. One day we'll have proof. Purity of heart is to will one thing. To approach his sacred eyrie, you must confront the savage Daimyos. You prevent our access to his power. I'll open the entrance to the sacred caves where your journey begins. We'll find out, Queen. We'll find out. However, we're going to find out on a future stream because I've just had a save icon come through and I don't know when the next one's going to kick in. And I am in the office tomorrow. So unfortunately, that is where we're going to wrap up for tonight. A bit of an odd way to do it. We've just been told we're going into the sacred caves and we will explore them the next time we play. When it comes to Alice, Madness Returns. Now, I am off the air until Tuesday the 10th of October. And the reason for that is very simple. I will be at Play Expo in Blackpool. So if you're going to be there at the gaming uh, gaming and arcade fa fest, come and find me. I will, not be easy to, I will not be easy to miss on both days. I'll be there on the Saturday and the Sunday. And because I'm going to wait for the weekend, I'll be back on Tuesday. When we were picking up Gran Turismo 4... And I will actually tell you, I've already run my cheat. The Formula Gran Turismo is in the garage. But I do have an interesting exploit that I can show you on how we could actually technically legitimately do the 24 hours at a much faster rate than you'd expect. But that'll be on Tuesday evening when we pick that up. And then next Thursday, we'll be back in Tokyo for more Shin Megami Tensei 4. But until then, thank you all very, very much for watching. And it has to be said, this dress is almost as good as the underwater one. <laughs>